Homeowners in an Aurora neighborhood say they are fed up with the behavior of the high school students across the street. They claim some of the students have been vandalizing and trashing their parks for years now. Denver 7's Patrick Perez has more on the frustrations from the homeowners and also what the school district's doing about it. This was the last straw for some homeowners in Aurora's Cross Creek neighborhood Wednesday morning. A group of students caught on camera stealing bicycles half an hour before we arrived to do a story about concerning behavior off campus. I'm screaming at the kids like, hey, hey, and then they finally hear me screaming at them and they drop the bikes in the field and keep running towards the school. Those kids kept running toward Vista Peak Prep, a high school across the street. Homeowners say it's just the latest example of the problems they've noticed for years. The kids ditching school and on their lunch breaks will come to our parks in the neighborhood and vandalize, do drugs, have sex, cuss. Steal Just packages. Steal packages. And we watched for ourselves as several dozen students made their way from the school grounds to the park that is in this neighborhood. Now, this happened during lunch hour, but the homeowners here tell me this happens throughout all hours of the school day. Um, they've cost us thousands of dollars in damage. They lit a bush on fire last year. Um, just in general, uh, causing mischief in the neighborhood. On Tuesday, Cara Moorfield and her husband Mike say they saw as many as 40 students fighting. They called police and the district when they say one of them threatened to pull out a gun. They said it wasn't their issue because it didn't happen on their property, but it will be their issue <clears throat> when a kid or multiple kids have guns in the school building. Everybody just throws their hands up and says nothing we can do about it, especially when it's off campus. That to me is just unheard of. We asked Aurora Public Schools why Vista Peak still has an open campus policy when this is what happens. Their statement didn't answer that question, only saying they're working with neighbors and families to, quote, foster respect between our students, neighbors, and the community. These homeowners hope something gets done before someone gets hurt. What else has to happen? In Aurora, Patrick Perez, Denver 7.